Hello everyone, welcome to today's A World of Yoga with Robin. We're gonna start in the seated position today. We're going to start with a gentle seated warm up, go through a gentle yoga sequence, and conclude with a gentle yoga relaxation breathing exercise. So everyone get down on your mats. I hope you're ready to go. I'm excited. This is my first recording of a yoga class. And so please bear with me as we go through this journey together. And so we're going to start in the seated position. You can start in a cross-legged position where you pull one leg up to meet your thigh and you can pull the other leg up on top of it to meet your thigh. If this is not comfortable for you or you feel any kind of pullness, once again, this is a gentle yoga session. So you can make adjustments as needed. You can stretch your legs out and start in a straight leg position. Once you find the position that's comfortable for you, I will go with cross-legged. Then you want to reach down and remove the flesh from under your sit bones. That way it allows you to lengthen up through your spine, gets you a firmer stretch, and allows you to open up that hip area. And so once you remove the flesh from your sit bones, you want to sit up straight, lengthen up through the spine, and we're going to take five rounds of inhales and exhales to begin our gentle warm-up sequence. And so we're going to do gentle breathing today. And we're going to take our hands and we're going to place them palms up to receive. But there are some times where you do not want to receive and you can start with palms down. But for today's gentle yoga session, we want to start with our palms facing up on each of our thighs. And so we're gonna take this time and we're gonna lengthen up through the spine. We're gonna open up the chest area very gently by sitting straight up, head over heart, heart over pelvis. We're gonna kind of tuck in those abs and we're gonna begin with a gentle round of yoga breathing. So we will start with a deep inhalation. And we will release with a gentle exhalation through the nose. Let's do it again. A gentle, deep inhalation through the nose. And an exhalation through the nose. Now for the last three inhalations and exhalations, please feel free to close your eyes. If you do not want your eyes closed, then you can just gently soften your gaze for the next three rounds. Let the sound of my voice guide you as we go through the next three inhalations and exhalations. So we will now take a deep inhalation. And what we will try to do as we take this inhalation is breathe the air down and get it down to the abdomen area. That allows us to gently expand the lungs, the diaphragm, and allows us to get more oxygen, which our body desperately enjoys and needs. So let's take a deep inhalation for a count of five. On my mark. One, two, three, four, five. And now we will release and exhale for a count of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's take a deep inhalation to the count of five. Two, three, four, five. And now we will exhale to the count of five. One, two, three, four, five. And on the last inhalation, inhale for as long as you need to and then gently exhale. Once again, you're trying to put the oxygen down into the belly and as you exhale, you want to imagine it coming back up, circling over the back of the area and coming out of the nostrils. Now we will 
start with a gentle seated shoulder stretch. So we will take our shoulders and we can take our palms and face them down on our knees. We will take our shoulders to our ears in the front, curve them to the top and release them down the back. We will do this for a count of five. So let's take our shoulders up in a slow, gentle rotation to the ears and down the back. You may feel tightness in one shoulder over the other. You may notice that it's easier to lift up to the front versus the top versus the back. Wherever you are in your yoga practice, take your time and be gentle with yourself. So let's go take the shoulders up to the ears and down the back. Two more times, we will take the shoulders up to the ears and down the back. Once again, we're gonna open up through the chest. We're gonna open up through the shoulders. I'm gonna take the shoulders up to the ears and down the back. Be mindful of where you may be holding tightness in your body and let's kind of just sway it out. You may feel some gentle stretching in the lower back. You may feel stretching in the middle back and maybe even in the chest area as we gently sway and loosen up our bodies. Now we will come back to center. Let's lengthen up through the spine and we will do the same shoulder rotation, but in the opposite direction. And so we're gonna take the shoulders back, we're gonna take them up, and we're gonna curve them to the front for a gentle release. Let's take the shoulders to the back, to the ears, and release to the front and down. Three more times. We're gonna take the shoulders back, to the ears, to the front, and down. Two more times. Let's take the shoulders to the back, to the ears, to the front, and release. One more time. Shoulders back, to the ears, to the front, and release. Take a deep inhalation and exhale let's do that two more times take a deep inhalation lengthening up through the spine and exhale make sure you're not leaning too far up to the front and you're not holding your belly out but you're kind of pulling your abs in lengthening up through the spine keeping it straight for a gentle stretch in that spine without a pulling or a leaning to the front. So let's take two more inhalations and exhalations. We're gonna take lengthening up through the spine, deep inhalation, exhale. One more time, inhale and exhale. Oh, by now we should warm up. So now we wanna take our wrists and give them a gentle, gentle warm up. Because sometimes when we're doing downward dog or we put pressure on our hand poses, planks, we feel a gentle pulling in the wrist. And so stretching and opening up the hands can sometimes help that. So we're gonna sit up straight, we're gonna lift our hands up. You're gonna take your right hand, put it on your left hand and give it a gentle massage. Starting at the wrist, going up, you may feel a gentle, gentle pull as you apply pressure to your knuckles and your fingers. And you're gonna release. Let your hands down. Let's lift our hands up. Now we're gonna take our left hand and gently massage the right hand. Once again, giving a little pressure, waking up those joints and muscles, getting the hand ready, getting the wrist ready. We're gonna take our wrist and now we're gonna roll them in a slow, gentle motion. And we'll roll them the opposite way. And we're gonna shake it out and let's release our hands to our legs. Now we will come up and take our legs out to the front 
for a gentle stretching of the lower back and the upper back as well as the hamstrings and the leg muscles. So on our inhale, we're going to take our arms up to the sky. Reach, 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 reach. Take our gaze gently up. And we're going to fall to the front on the exhalation with a soft back and a gentle stretch. You can either go here if this is comfortable, if you have more flexibility, or if you choose to and it's comfortable for you, you may grab a hold to your big toe. Your heels are flat on the surface. Your legs are touching the ground. Relax your knees and fall forward in a gentle stretch, taking an inhale here and a soft exhale. Let's take another inhale here, going deeper into the stretch if you can, relaxing your shoulders, they should be pulling towards the back, and exhale. One more deep inhalation, letting your head fall if you can, tucking your chin, and releasing it with an exhale, lifting your arms up and letting them down to your side. Let's take a deep inhalation and an exhale. Let's do that stretch one more time. We're going to lift our arms up, stretching and lifting up through the spine, taking our gaze to the top. Falling forward on the exhale with a very flat and soft back, grabbing the toes or the outsides of the feet or the ankles, if that is more comfortable. Wherever you are in your journey, feel free to make adjustments. You don't wanna stretch till it hurts, but you wanna stretch in a comfortable manner, waking up those muscles, waking up those joints, and going deeper into your pose. Let's take a deep inhalation and an exhale, falling softer into that forward fold. Deep inhalation here and exhale one more time. Deep inhalation and on the exhale, we're going to lift up. Inhale down. Now, take your hands and we're going to place them at the sides of our thighs, lifting up, lifting up through our spine, and we're going to do a gentle neck massage. And you're going to start by just drawing circles or imagining you're drawing circles with your nose. And we're going to start with wide, soft circles. So we begin with an inhale, lifting the head up, and drawing the circle to the right to the down and to the left and back up to center. You may hear some cracking in your neck as your joints and muscles become more awake, more alive. If you need to adjust and remove the flesh from under your sit bones, do that. And let's take another three circles in our next stretch. So we're gonna start at the top, to the right, down, remember to breathe, to the left, and up to center. Let's take another wide circle to the right, down, to the left, open up the shoulders to the back, and to the top. One more time, to the right, down, to the left, and up. Take a deep inhalation here and let your shoulders relax on the exhale. Now we're going to stretch our neck and go the opposite way. So we will start at the top, go to the left, down to the front and to the right. Inhale in, exhale to the side, to down to the right. Deep inhalation up to the left, to the down, to the right, to center. One more time. Keep remembering. Sometimes we have a tendency to kind of slouch down. Let's keep our back straight. To the left, to down, 
to the right and to center. And you may need to gently turn your neck side to side, opening up the chest area and giving your neck more of a gentle stretch. Take one more inhalation and let's exhale up on our knees for gentle forward fold. So you want to come up to center. If this is too hard on your knees, you can stay in a seated position or you can adjust or modify as necessary to have a bolster. You can put it between your calves and your bottom and come down into a pose like this. Once you come into forward fold, you want to open up your shoulders, take them to the back, to the front, tuck your head and your chin and gently stretch your back with your hands on your knees. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more time, we're going to tuck our chins, round our backs, inhale, and on the exhale, come up to center, inhale our arms up, and take them into prayer pose. Now we're going to come down back on our bottoms for a gentle side twist. So you're going to come back in the seated position. Once again, adjust your sit bones as necessary. You're going to cross your legs and we will start going with to our left and then we will do our right side. So you will gently lift your left arm up. Take it down on the exhale and place it behind you in back of your bottom. Inhale the right arm up. Take the right arm to meet the left leg. And as you do on the exhale, a gentle twist to look over the left shoulder. If it is not comfortable to go all the way over the left shoulder because you want to make sure you're sitting down and your knees and legs are comfortably positioned on the mat. So you may go here and turn your gaze to the left side or you may go further into the stretch and turn over your shoulder. Let's take two inhalations and exhalations. Breathe in and exhale. Breathe in and exhale. Let's take one more deep inhalation and on the exhale, release back to center. Ah, you want to now inhale your right arm up, exhale it to the be behind you, behind your back. Open your fingers up and press firmly into the palm of your hand. Lengthen up through your spine. Inhale your left arm up. Exhale it down to your right leg. Open up your hands and position it on your knee. On the next inhalation, you will turn in a gentle side twist. Inhale. You can stay here if it is comfortable. If you would like to go deeper into the stretch, proceed to look over your right shoulder. Deep inhalation, lift up through the spine and exhale. Two more times. Inhale in, exhale out. One more time. Inhale. Exhale back to center. Take your arms up. Exhale to prayer pose. You're doing such a great job as we go through our warm up in our gentle warm up sequence. Our next pose is we're going to open up these arms and our shoulders. So we're going to inhale up, interlace the fingers, turn the palms to the sky. 
and stretch. Remember to breathe, deep inhalation as we stretch up, exhale out. Two more times, deep inhalation as we stretch up and exhale. One more time, we're gonna stretch up on the inhalation and we're gonna exhale, release our arms back down to center. You should feel those hands waking up, that gentle shoulder stretch coming into play. We're gonna do a little more stretching of the shoulder and the back. So now you want to take your hands and assist your body in turning to the lift of your mat. You wanna outstretch your legs, lengthen up through your spine, and we're gonna do a forward bend. So on the next inhalation, we're gonna take our arms up. And on the exhale, fall down for a stretch. Then gently release the head. On the inhale, we're gonna come up, release the arms to the side. Now we're gonna do a wide-legged forward stretch. So open the legs up as comfortable as you can so you feel a nice, gentle stretch on your thigh muscles, the inner thigh. You want your heels facing down, your feet pointing up, you want to lengthen up through that spine, so if you need to adjust your sit bones, remove that flesh, and sit up straight. For this one, we're going to take our arms up on the inhale, and we're going to fall forward on the exhale. Now, your stretch may come here with your palms down, tucking the chin, pulling the shoulders back, and relaxing the neck and the head. You may be able to go deeper and come down on the arms and allow your head, tuck your chin, and relax. Take a deep inhalation in and exhale out. One more time, deep inhalation in and exhale out. Last one, deep inhalation. You may feel a stretch up the side of your back. You may notice that one side is easier to come down on as opposed to the other. Sometimes one side of our body is tighter than the other, so you may need to make adjustments as needed. If this is not comfortable, then you can do a gentle forward stretch by placing the sides of the arms onto your thighs in a gentle motion, opening up the hands, pressing through the palms, tucking the chin, and allowing the head to fall. Deep inhalation, and exhale. Remember, press through the palms to enhance the stretch, press through the heels, another deep inhalation, and exhale. Inhale up to center, release the palms, Bring the legs back together and shake them out. Give your legs a gentle shake out. We are going to do lotus position. So we're gonna take our feet, put the palms or the soles of the feet together, butterfly pose. Your knees may not be able to come to the floor. That may be something we're working towards. Your knees may be able to come to the floor and rest comfortably. This is also a hip opener, so you wanna make sure to remove that flesh from the sit bones. It just allows you to go into the stretch better, more comfortable, making modifications and adjustments as needed. Remember, this is your yoga practice. You are doing this for you. Congratulate yourself for showing up at the mat and taking the time to do your practice. So while we are in butterfly pose, we are going to take our hands and we're going to inhale up and exhale our palms down to our knees. 
as we are sitting here, we're going to lengthen up through the spine with the goal of our thighs gently dropping towards the mat. We're going to take a deep inhalation as we continue to allow our thighs and our knees to drop towards the mat. Opening up our heart, our shoulders, our back, and breathing out. Another deep inhalation in, and exhale out. One more time, you should be feeling that stretch on the inside of that thigh muscle, the outward thigh, also probably in the back area. As we open up the chest, bring the shoulders back, lengthen up through the spine, and take an inhale, and exhale, legs out to center, relax the hands on the palm. This is the last pose in this sequence for right now. So we are going to come into the rest of our warm up by coming onto our knees, placing our palms shoulder width apart, hands, fingers flat on the mat, pressing into those palms. It takes that pressure off of your wrist that I was talking about earlier. Your feet are toes down on the mat, and we're going to come into child's pose. So as we are breathing, take one inhalation. We're gonna push our sit bones to the back, our tailbone to the back. We're gonna stretch our arms gently to the front, place our head on the mat, and come into child's pose. You are stretching through the palms and your arms. Breathe in, breathe out. Now, some of you who have a little extra meat in your bones, you may need to go in and adjust, as I'm doing, your belly cavity. Pull it up, move it to the side. It just gives you a little more room to go into the stretch. So you're gonna, once you make those adjustments, if you can't go back, you can always put a bolster or a block to sit on. That will allow you to go back into child's pose. So we're gonna stretch those arms out, forehead to the mat, pressing down through the palms, taking a deep inhalation, and exhale. Another deep inhalation, and exhale. Pressing through the palms, forehead off the mat. Come back up to center. Ease down to the side. Come back into sitting pose. And let's get ready for our standing sequence. We will give thanks for our warm up by taking a deep inhalation, raising our arms up to the sky, taking our gaze up, coming down into prayer pose. One more time, we will take a deep inhalation in, raise those arms to the sky, take our gaze to the sky, exhale down to prayer pose. Now, you can come into standing position by simply shifting your weight, coming onto your knees, Taking one leg up, keeping your palms on the mat, getting your balance, pushing up through that left leg, and coming up to standing. As we come up to standing, we will do our sun salutations. So we will come up to the front of the mat. We will come to the front of our mat. Take our hands in prayer pose and give thanks for this time on the mat. You may also set an intention for how you would like your practice to be for yourself or just an intention for this particular moment. So my intention is to get through my first yoga recording as I am and that you all enjoy this workout. So we're going to inhale 
our arms up to the sky, take our gaze up, exhale, down to the ground. Place our hands flat. As we do, take an inhale, step back on the mat. With your foot, come into forward lunge. Now you may need to adjust your foot, walk it up some, as I'm doing. In a gentle manner, make sure your hands are flat. Come into forward lunge. Look up to the front, brace yourself. Take your left leg back, place your palms flat on the sky, on the, on the mat. Come in to plank position. Hold the plank, pressing in through the toes as well as the palms. Coming down to the mat, lifting up for cobra. Gentle cobra. Take cobra down. Put the feet, take your toes to the mat. Place into the palms. Inhale in, come up for downward dog. In downward dog, you want to drop the head down, push through the palms, shift your bottom to the back towards your heels, and put your heels to the ground. Once you are here, take a deep inhalation in, and exhale your foot to the front of the mat. Wherever you can go, you may have to gently walk it up. Place your palms down. Bring your other foot to meet your right one. Take an inhalation in. Take your arms to the sky. Exhale down to prayer pose. Now, we will do that two more times on the right leg and then three times on the left leg. So we're going to inhale up to center. Come down to prayer. Inhale up to center, arch your back, exhale all the way down, plant your palms on the sky, on the, on the mat. Keep saying the sky, right? Press your palms on the mat, step your right leg back, come into lunge pose. You may have to walk that leg up if you're short like me, gotta get your position right. Gonna go to the lunge, look forward, press into the palms. Take a deep inhalation, take your left leg back, come into high plank, lower down, come up, baby cobra pose. Remember to keep breathing, press into your palms, come up on the mat, bring your feet down for downward dog. Try to get your heels to the mat, pressing into the palms. Taking a deep breath here, and on the exhale, you want to bring your right foot up. Like I said, you can, you can assist your body if you need to. You may take your leg and help it come up to meet your arm. Place your palms back down. Readjust your pose when you're steady. Bring your other leg up. Inhale in, the arms up to center. Come down to prayer pose. One more time on the right leg. We're going to inhale. We're going to exhale a prayer. Inhale up. Arch your back. Exhale down to center. Place your palms flat by your feet. Inhale your right leg back. Walk your left leg up. Come into lunge pose, bracing yourself with your hands. Looking forward in your gaze. Inhale your left leg back. Exhale to plank. Inhale down. Come into baby cobra. Take an inhalation. Press down through the palms of your hands. Come up on the balls of your feet. Let's go down into downward dog. Walk your feet in. Press through your palms. Drop your head. <coughs> Take a deep breath here. Inhale your right leg up to center. Adjust as needed. Get your balance. Bring your other leg up to meet it. Inhale the arms up to center. Exhale down. All right, now we're gonna jump back with the left leg. 
And so we'll be in the reverse of the body. Because whatever you do to one side of the body in yoga, you need to do to the other side of the body. So let's inhale our arms up. Arch our back. Come down, palms on the mat. Inhale your left leg back. Come into forward lunge. Take a deep inhalation. Inhale your right leg back. Come into high plank. Palms pressing, feet pressing into the mat. Fold your toes, come down on the mat. Come up, baby cobra. Take a gentle deep breath in. Inhale to downward dog. Press through the palms of your hands. Try to make your heels touch the mat. Inhale your left leg up. You may find it's easier to move one leg up than the other because like I said, one side of your body may be a little more flexible than the other. Once you inhale your leg up, press the palms to the mat. Bring your other leg up to meet it. Inhale, arms up to center. Exhale to pray. Two more times. Inhale, arms up. Arch your back. Exhale, forward fold. Step your left leg back, come up to lunge, deep breath, take your right leg back, come into high plank, chaturanga down, come up, baby cobra, deep inhalation, press through the palms and come back into downward dog. You may need to walk your feet, your arms, get a good stretch, deep inhalation in, get the, take your left leg up to your hand. Bring your right leg up to meet it. Inhale your arms up to center. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale your arms up. Bring your arms down in a prayer pose. Take your arms up again. Arch your back. Forward down on the exhale. Place your palms, keeping your fingers spread wide. I can't see it. Take your left leg back. Come up into lunge. Look forward. Take your right leg back to meet your left leg. Come down, Chaturanga. Come into Cobra. Press through the palms of your hands. Take an inhalation up. Come into downward dog. Press through those palms of those hands. Have your heels touch the bottom of the mat. Gently relax your neck. Take your shoulders back. On the inhale, bring your left leg up to meet your left arm. Adjust as needed. Come up with your other leg. Deep inhalation up. Down to prayer pose. Now we're going to do our cool down and we're going to take it down to the mat for our lay positions. So as we come down to the mat, you want to come down and you want to get comfortable, get your breath. You may need to get a glass of water or some water. We've been going for about 36 minutes now. And we're going to just take a second because this is a gentle yoga practice and our bodies is warm. I can feel the heat. I can feel the sweat starting. And so now we're at a time where we're going to cool down before we go into Savasana. And I'm going to have me a bit of water because I am thirsty and water really does help the body flow. I thank you for staying with me through my very first ever video. And as we continue to go through this, I'm gonna take another sip of water and we will thank ourselves for showing up on our mat today. I don't know about you, but when I get on my mat, 40 minutes, we're at 40 minutes. 
um, I have a timekeeper that helps me because I believe our time is valuable. And so let me quit trying to pretend like this is a professionally shot video. I done told you all, this is my first video and I am proud of myself. I am proud of myself for showing up. And so, yes, that is my timekeeper in the background who's helping me keep track of our time because I am going for 60 minutes and we're at 40 minutes. And I just want to tell you thank you for showing up and joining me today. And so, now that we're all hydrated, let's take a deep inhalation in, arms up to the center, giving thanks with our gaze up, and exhale our arms down to the side. We're going to go into our lying poses. So we're going to lie down on your back, take and ease your way down. In yoga, you don't want to flop your body around. You don't want to jerk your body around, at least not in gentle yoga. And I'm all about gentle yoga. Um, gentle yoga works for a number of reasons. It works for beginners in the practice. It works for um, people who've suffered trauma, people who just want to take it easy, who want to ease their way in building their practice up. And so that's why I am more into the gentle yoga phases because yoga works. It works from within out. And so if we take that gentleness and we give it to ourselves, then we can project it outward and it has so many benefits. So let's ease ourselves down to the mat, keeping our palms flat at our side, pressing through our palms, coming on our shoulders, relaxing our head and going into lying down pose. So as we are on the ground, you want to just take a minute a second because a minute is a long time kind of you want to take a second and just get comfortable with how your body feels get acquainted with how your body feels on the mat come into the present moment feel your thighs engage with the mat feel your calves engage with the mat feel your heels engage with the mat feel your palms and your arms and your back now for some people lying flat on their back may not be comfortable it may cause you some pain. There may be tightness in your back. There may be sore muscles. You can always take a bolster. If you have a dip, I'm gonna pull my shirt a little tighter so you can see if you have a dip between your back and your tailbone, you may wanna put a bolster right here that will give you a comfort and a cushion so that you're not sitting arched back on the ground. If you can, though, come all the way down, whatever you need to do, whatever modifications you need, adjust as necessary. If you don't have a bolster, if you don't have a block, you can roll up a blanket and put it under your back as well so that you are comfortable. If your neck area is not comfortable, if it is tense, if it is tight, you can also take a pillow and put it under your head to make it more comfortable as you go into Savasana laying down corpse pose. So this is corpse pose. Now I always like to start with corpse pose because for me in yoga, corpse pose is just so comfortable. And so let's take a moment and we're gonna do three deep inhalations, exhalations. And if you don't know what corpse is, it's just lying still, letting the body do its rhythmic breathing, relaxing into those muscles as it gently stretches itself out. So we're going to take a deep inhalation. We're going to try as we're inhaling to blow our stomachs up as if we are blowing up a balloon. And on the exhalation, and you're not going to force the air into the balloon. It's just a gentle expanding. And when we release, then we will let the air out and our stomachs will drop. So let me demonstrate. Take a deep inhalation in. Exhale out. Deep inhalation through the nostril. Sending the air all the way down into the abdomen and releasing as we would a balloon. Now you can release through the mouth because we want to get a gentle, different breathing pattern as we go into our cool down. So let's take an inhalation in. Exhale out. If you need, you can take your hands and keep them on your abdomen so that you can gauge how you are taking air into your body. 
If you don't, you can put them gently at the sides of your body, palms facing down. Let's take a deep inhalation in. Making sure our feet are pointed up and not, well, no, sorry, we're in corpse pose. So our feet, it's okay to drop to the sides. So let's take a deep inhalation in and exhale out. One more time, inhalation in, exhale out. Drop the hands out to the side. Turn the neck to the left, to the right, and to the left in a very gentle motion. Stretching out any kinks that you may feel. Take your hands, place, place them palms down along the side of your body. And you're going to take your right leg up on the inhale and lift it towards the sky. Inhale up and hold, exhale. One more inhale while your leg is up. And exhale, fold the knee, take your hands, bring them around the leg, either at the knee area or the shin. Pull the leg gently in. Once again, this is an area where you may need to make modifications. For me, my modification would be opening the leg up, taking the belly, and moving it in. That opens up and allows for a deeper stretch and not a pushing against that belly tissue that may sometimes fall to the side if you're plush and delicious. So, take your leg up. On the inhale, exhale down. One more time, we're gonna inhale our right leg up. Exhale, fold, bend the knee, grab the leg, adjust if you need to, and bring your leg and your forehead to your knee. Exhale down, inhale your leg up. Exhale the right leg to the mat. One more time, inhale your right leg up. Exhale for the knee, catch it, bring it in. Inhale your head up to meet your knee, exhale down. Inhale right leg up, release the arms, exhale your leg down to center. Now, let's do that same stretch with our left leg. So we're gonna make sure to readjust our palms that they're flat on the mat. What that does is having your palms flat on the mat, it gives you more strength to push up out of that hip bone to your leg up. If it is hard to go straight up like this, then you can always bend your knee and lift from here. That is another adjustment that can be made, especially in gentle yoga. Sometimes we have knee issues, knee um, problems or hip area problems that is hard to go straight from the mat up. So always feel free if you need to do an adjustment Come up with your knee and lift from there. So let's inhale the left leg up. Exhale, drop the knee, grab it. Inhale, forehead to knee. Exhale, head down. Inhale, drop the arms, raise the knee. Exhale, drop the left leg to the mat. Two more times. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, drop and grab the knee. Inhale, forehead to the knee. Exhale, forehead down. Inhale, left leg up. Drop the arms. Exhale, left leg down. One more time. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, drop the knee, grab it. Inhale, right head, forehead to knee. Exhale, relax the head down. Inhale, raise the leg, drop the arms. Exhale, press through the palms and release the left leg. Now, take a deep inhalation in and remember to keep breathing throughout your yoga practice. Keep rhythmic breathing. Breathing helps the stretch go deep. 
helps oxygenate those places of the body that need oxygen, that may not get it because we may be sitting all day or we may be stressed and we tend to hold our breath. So we're gonna take place our palms down to the side, pressing in through the palms. We're gonna raise both legs on the inhalation. Inhale both legs up. Once again, you can make a modification if you need to. If that is too much on your lower back area, on your hip area, then go and lift up at the legs. So lift your left legs up, then fold your knee, grab them, and bring your head to your knee. Inhale, head down, inhale, leg up, exhale, both legs down. Now, this is the favorite part of our practice, we will do Savasana. Get you a blanket if you would like to cover yourself. This is the place where we allow our bodies to rest, like corpse pose. So you may take your arms, press them to the side, let them fall out. Let your legs and your feet fall out. Close your eyes. Visualize a color or a place or a sound or a good thought. Quiet the mind, take a gentle deep inhalation, thank yourself for your practice, begin regular breathing, close your eyes, and relax in Shavasana.
begin to come back, start by opening your eyes, kind of fluttering, wiggling your toes, gently wiggling your fingers. And as you continue to wake up through your body, when you are ready, roll over onto your side, push up through the palms, come up to the seating position when you are ready. Hands at prayer pose. I'd like to thank you for taking this time to join me today in my yoga practice. A world of yoga, gentle yoga, coming to you today by Robin. Namaste.